Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm gonna to react to Disturbing Things Caught on Police Dashcam Volume 2. Now, I reacted to Volume 1 a few weeks ago and it was a really, really interesting video. Just, you know, finding those officers just by chance discovering a kidnapping, finding someone in the boot of a car, just completely randomly. If they hadn't just randomly stopped that car, that guy would have been dead. Crazy stuff. Police obviously deal with a, a wide variety of strange things on a daily basis. And people in that comment section were telling me that this one is actually the better one. Volume two is the more interesting one. So I can't wait to see what's in store for us now. Let's do it. Most disturbing things caught on police car. dash cam. Let's go. This is the dash cam footage of rookie Delaware State Police Trooper Hassan Hollis. Hassan was stationed on a highway on-ramp right next to a stalled vehicle waiting for a tow truck to arrive when he spotted a red Buick Regal. Only minutes before, a radio call had gone out for all officers in the area to be on the lookout for a vehicle that matched that very description as it was linked to a possible kidnapping. Uh... Hassan quickly ditched the stalled vehicle and began chasing it down the highway. So that's it there, isn't it? After a few moments, he caught up to it and got right behind it. The license plate matched up. Hassan then radioed for backup and began pulling the vehicle over using extreme caution. Mm. Oh god, what's about to happen? What's about to happen here? Inside the trunk. Inside the vehicle was 35 year old Lewis Coleman. When asked if anyone else was in the vehicle, Lewis would explain how someone was in the trunk. Upon opening the trunk, police would find the remains of Jesse Coheya inside of a suitcase. Oh my god. A suitcase which Lewis was later found to have purchased only a couple days earlier at a nearby Walmart. Oh my god. Along with this, he also purchased other items, such as duct tape, surgical gloves, and safety goggles. He was going to dispose of her body, wasn't he? Wow. The unfortunate events were believed to have started at a nightclub hundreds of miles away where Jassy Coelho was last seen. Oh, no. It's thought that this is where Lewis had lured her inside of his car. Oh, Upon being arrested, Lewis Coleman would plead not guilty, but considering the mass amount of evidence against him, he would later be found otherwise by a federal jury. As of right now, Lewis is still waiting for his sentencing. Really? Why is he still waiting though? How long does it take? It's November 19, 2017 in Clearwater, Florida. Two police cruisers, both with their own dash cams, were responding to a traffic stop on North Keene Road. Just two minutes after they arrived, a small plane hovering in the air slowly comes into view. What the hell? Why is it so it quickly low? quickly becomes clear that it's descending and heading straight at them. Oh my god, it's crash landing, isn't it? It's gonna crash land. That is way too low. Oh my god. Has it landed? It's cr there. Oh my god. Lucky there weren't the any cars. The plane's right wing clips a tree while descending, causing the aircraft to spin out and forcing it to the side of the road. Just minutes earlier, the four seater plane had taken off from a nearby airport. Flying it was 61 year old Mark Allen Benedict, accompanied by one other passenger. Shortly into the flight, their engine started failing. Oh. Mark reported this back to the airport and further explained to them that he didn't think he could make it back. Mark didn't have any options, as the state of the one engine he had was only continuing to worsen. This is what forced him to crash land on the road, a road which just so happened to already have police present. Despite the terrible nature of the crash, Mark and the other passenger on board were able to walk away from the wreckage with minimal lucky. injuries. Lucky. Very no lucky. No one on the ground was injured. That's the thing with these the, these older planes, like, you know, if anything goes wrong, you've got no recourse, like, that's it. Like, especially a single engine plane, it's like, man. This footage was taken from the dash cam of Arkansas Police Corporal Randy McAdams around 3 a.m. on October 15th, 2005. 
Randy had been informed of some type of crash at Hobo Jungle Park and was in the process of responding to the incident. On his way to the crash site, he would notice a thick layer of what looked like fog directly in front of him. This prompted Randy to stay put. Shortly after, his dash cam would capture this. Two on. I've got some kind of chemical smell. It's slowly drifting further south. Chemical smell? What could this be? Some kind of explosive? What was that noise? Explosion. Oh my god. Gas leak, I'm thinking. Or maybe it's like a chemical plant. Control 4 Central, we just had a huge explosion. Uh, we've got massive fire out here. Uh, on Dudley here, there was a yard. Some kind of stuff on fire. Damn. Hope nobody was close by. Just lost power down here on the hill. That's fine. 209, you might want to back your unit up. Oh my god, look at the size of it. Looks like a bomb went off. Get your ass out of my way. Get the hell up out of here. Look at the size of it. Jeez. Randy desperately backs away from the explosion and is able to make it out of its range. It turns out the crash he was responding to was a train crash at a nearby railroad yard. Oh. The collision resulted in the puncture of a tanker carrying propylene, a compressed flammable gas. Damn. This is the fog Randy had originally seen when responding to the incident. At that point, the gas wasn't yet on fire. It wasn't until it reached a nearby house that it was set ablaze. Oh my god. It's believed that the house's water heater is what was responsible. This is what then caused the extreme explosion seen in the dash cam footage. Right. Had Randy entered the fog, he and his patrol vehicle likely would have been incinerated. But, amazingly, all police officers and even rail yard employees were out of the explosion's range when it occurred. Very, very In fact, very around 3,000 residents within a one-mile radius were advised to evacuate immediately. Unfortunately, though, the house that had started the explosion had a single occupant, oh, which would be man. the only person killed in the incident. Oh, man. This Rest tragedy brought a lot of light to the shortcomings and communication methods between the police, the fire department, and those working the rail yard tower. For example, initial observations of a vapor cloud and chemical odor were not even passed down to responding dispatchers. In response to this, the city has since modified some of their communication protocols. Mm. Isn't it sad how it takes, it often takes tragedy for us to make necessary changes to things or even to realize there's a problem? It's, it's kind of unfortunate. This footage was taken on February 18, 2022, in Shawna, Wisconsin. The dash cam is in the cruiser of Officer Jeff Buettner. Jeff was patrolling the highway when suddenly this happened. Gosh, icy, icy conditions. That road is probably pretty slippery. Oh, oh my God. How many cars? Oh! Oh my god! That was like a 50 car pileup! This is why I hate driving in the snow, man. A I hate it. pileup of cars comes into view. But same as everyone else, the icy conditions didn't allow enough time for Jeff to slow oh, down, forcing him to crash. My god, look at all the cars! Before he had time to get out, cars from behind him would begin to slam into his police bang, cruiser. Bang! Bang! Oh! Unreal. Jeff was now trapped inside of his vehicle, but still, at least for the most part, unhurt. Not long passes when a few other people involved in the crash go up to check up on Jeff. Hey, wow. Okay? A little sore, but... Okay? I'm a little sore, but I gotta try and get a hold of my supervisor at least. Oh my god. I'm kinda trapped right now. I mean, how do you even begin to deal with this situation? Because there's just so many cars. I gotta try and I'll try and get out of here and do what I can to help you guys. I'm sorry, man. I'm trapped right now. 
Wow. Hold on, let me let me try and get out of my driver's door first. Can you? I mean, yeah. good, you know, that officer, like, you would expect him to be super shaken up and stuff, but he's just got straight back to work. You know, that's a professional. Can you, uh, nope. Okay, okay. Nope, we got it open. You got it open? Six minutes would pass until Jeff was able to free himself. From there, he immediately joined in helping other stranded drivers. Gosh, look at all the mangled cars. A total of 39 vehicles were involved in the pileup, resulting in 10 people being injured. Jesus. That is a lot of cars. In January of 2016, police of Lincoln County would release this dashcam video. Driving the cruiser is Deputy Jeremy Gatney, who was on a routine patrol in the area at the time. As he nears an intersection, Jeremy notices an obstruction in the roadway. That's when he realizes it was moving and coming towards him. He slows down and turns on his lights as he gets what closer. What is that? It's an animal. Before realizing what he was actually looking at. Is that an animal or a person? I thought it was like a bear, but it might be a person. It's like... No, it's a kid. It looks like a kid. It's a kid, isn't it? What the heck? What's he doing out there? An infant child running in the middle of the road right up to Jeremy's front bumper. Jeremy picks him up and asks him where his parents were, and shortly after they would be located. They were found frantically searching for their child. It was later discovered that the child had unknowingly slipped out of the family's house through an open door. Oh my god. And it wouldn't be until minutes later before the parents realized that their child was missing. The incident was investigated thoroughly on the basis of child neglect. Right. But it was ultimately determined to just be an accident. Therefore, oh. no criminal charges were brought to anyone involved. Those parents were extremely lucky, man. That kid could have easily been, you know, run over. Scary. On the morning of February 24th, 2015, police would receive multiple calls from a neighborhood in New Jersey reporting a strong smell of gas in the air. Police, firefighters, and utility workers would respond to the calls. They suspected a gas leak and were quickly trying to locate where it was coming from. Meanwhile, 75 different homes in the nearby area were evacuated. Then, caught on one of the responding police cruiser's dash cams, a sudden explosion. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god. That was crazy. Oh my god. Okay, the explosion sent debris explosion from the house now. flying out in every direction throughout the neighborhood. Just the blown home was blown clear from its base, though it was under renovation at the time and therefore empty of people. Oh, thank However, God. 15 people would still be injured from the blast, oh, most man. of which being firefighters and utility workers. Some even being critically injured and having to be airlifted to nearby emergency rooms. Oh, my God. It's believed the explosion was caused by a 2-inch gas main that broke, but how it broke in the first place, or what ignited the blast, is still unclear. Maybe someone drilled into it by accident. Wow, this video was crazy. Yeah, that one was definitely more entertaining or more interesting than the last one even though the last one was also a really like fun video to watch just so many things to talk about that 40 car pileup was just insane imagine you're on the highway you're coming around the bend and you just see all that carnage and then you slowly start losing traction your car starts sliding oh awful and then cars are slamming into you because they're going through the same situation too and or, or, or how about you're driving at night it's pitch black and then you see something like faintly coming in your direction you realize it's a kid in the middle of the road just this video was wild honestly really really good like kudos to the guy who made this because yeah really great video i'm gonna check if there's a volume three because i really enjoyed this thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one